Hello and welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Helps me out a bunch. This is going to be a how-to video. I'm actually going to be putting a pavilion at the house here. So it's how to install a or build DIY a pavilion. So uh, location for it. It's going to be up there right over top of the pond. Um, got the excavator and I got the grade set up and stuff. But uh, I'll set you up on a I go up there and show you what's going on there, but uh, here's what's going on here. Truck's all painted up, hooked to the gooseneck trailer. Looking good, looking good. I'll get this trailer out of the road and then I'll go show you what we're doing. Okay, the most important and crucial step before building a pavilion is to have a location. So, we got the pond there, we got the view, we got the location. So, next thing is, obviously, we need to shoot the grades. Now, I shot these grades, and it's a foot difference from this end to that end. Um, I'm going to want some stone underneath it. So, this side's going to be a cut. That side, we're going to fill in with a little stone. We'll do a little work around the back side there. But, uh... This right here is my first corner here, back side there, going across and over there. Now, I didn't bother squaring this up yet. We're doing a two foot bigger than the pad. Actually, the pavilion is going to be a 16 by 24. So we're going 18 by 26. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set you up here and we will go ahead and we'll take this topsoil out of here and we'll cut a little dirt out. Okay, so we are back a few, I should say weeks later. So the next step I should have been said for the most important step is to acquire a building permit. So we did that, filed for that, we had to wait for it, but I do have all the materials tucked away in the dry storage building. Um, so I'll show you what we got here. We're gonna lay this thing out, hopefully get it ready for forming today. Warm it up for concrete. Um, I got the dozer with me here. Doze, say hi to the camera. Come here, sit. Hey, doze. Doze, say, say hi to the camera, bud. Yeah, there's dozer. We got the dozer on the job. All right, so um, last video, we kind of cut this down. I put a little gravel in here. We've gotten a lot of rain and it's settled in. Um, I found that there is a wet spot in that corner so we did set this up for a two foot over dig. I'm going to pump, I'm just going to bump that this way a little bit. So um, when squaring up a building like this, first thing you want to do is establish a straight line. So I got a pin here and I got a pin down there. And then you have to uh, lay out your corners from that. So you got to set up a cross diagonal. So hook one tape measure. You can do this by yourself. It's a little tedious, um, but you can set up a tape measure. I'll set this up. I'll set you up on a tripod here so you can see it. But uh, set yourself up, and then um, we're going to pull 26 feet long ways this way. We are going to pull 18 foot wide that direction, and our cross diagonal is going to be 31 feet 7 inches across. So I can pull, I hook the tape measure here, I hook the tape measure on my pin down there, pull the cross diagonal, and I should have my corner down there. And then if I do it the opposite way, it should work out. Once I've got my corners established, I'll set my boards in here. Those are he's digging here, but what I did was I spliced all my boards together. The other day, I don't have any video of it, but normally I just take a piece of scrap plywood and uh, put them together. I know some people will say, well, you should probably use forms. Um, these two by sixes, I'll repurpose these in the pavilion. So um, they're not wasted, nothing's wasted here. These two by sixes will be used. I'm used doing a uh, six inch, 
Actually, it'll be five and a half inch haunch around the outside, and then it'll be a four inch in the middle. I'll haunch this thing up, and we'll uh, pour it out. I'll set you guys up here, and now we'll shoot these uh, shoot these measurements. Quit messing with my tape measure. 31, 7 and a half. 8. There. I'm just making a little fingerprint there. Check it with my. Eighteen, thirty-one, seven, and a half. Done. A little bit off there. Pull it down just a little bit. All right, we're good on this corner. I'll do the other side now. Punch. There it is right there. I want it inside that corner so I can put my boards up against it. And well, I'll check my other length there and it should be good to that corner over there. Alright, she's a little low. Low dozer, leave the rock alone, buddy. So, uh, we're bringing some number two stone in here now and just kind of bringing it up before we final set our pins again. But, uh, yeah, I already put a little stone in here. I'll set you up here. Number two stone, I'm going to bring them in. We'll sprinkle some more out. And, uh, we'll check our grade. So I want to go through a region.
we'll get another bucket. We'll sprinkle it down through here. tell you to jump okay so we got our stone roughed in here we put our pins back in we're gonna set our boards in here and um start pinning them down and we'll uh we'll set the two ends we'll set this one and that one actually and then we'll put a, a square in there so we can square this corner up we'll come over and then we can square that corner up and then uh should be good shape
annoying, but it's also a good spot. All right. Okay, we got all of our stakes in. Got it pinned down, squared up. A did our cross diagonals. It's pinned in, it's that great. I gotta put a little stone in here. We'll pull a string line from here across and we'll measure down, make sure that our concrete will be good so that we don't run over on concrete. But uh, next thing you'll see, we'll be pouring the concrete. So uh, we'll get her going. subscribe and we will see you in the next one.